Hey everybody, y'all welcome back for another phlebotomy video. Thank y'all so much for requesting these videos and watching these videos. I'm gonna stop talking about that and just jump into it because I want to do it step by step like someone asked. Someone asked for the actual label for the tube, the tube itself, what are we doing? We are going to do a uh, gold top tube, but what I'm gonna do is draw the blood. I'm gonna check it out, we're gonna let it clot, we're gonna get our clot, we're gonna put it in the centrifuge, we're gonna spin it, see what we have after the centrifuge. Then, y'all ready for this? We're gonna pipette it into a transfer device and set it aside. You know, this is the perfect setting if you guys had someone sitting, you've got everything you need, and what you are going to do is to commence to sticking. Now I'm sticking myself, I don't have the gloves, I'm not even putting on a tourniquet, because you guys already know how my veins work. I am, however, gonna use the push button today because last couple times I've stuck myself or have done a draw I've done the lock so we're doing the push today so you guys know the lock slides up this one is you're just gonna push the little device and it's going to retract the needle so I hope you guys have a really good view here and we're gonna anchor and we are sticking at that nice angle that I've told you guys about and not nose diving and we have a flash yes so we have our flash we have our hub that's attached to the bottom of the butterfly needle we are going to insert our gold top two because that's what we need and we have blood flowing you guys see it filling up i know you see it i know you see it so what you want to do because it's the evacuated tube system you let the tube fill and let it stop on its own once it stops you remove the tourniquet if you have a tourniquet on of course you do so we're popping our tourniquet which is my sleeve we removed our tube we have whole blood we're going to sit it in our rack if we have a rack we always set it upright in our rack so that it can clot and go ahead and finish your patient care and you get yourself a nice gauze you place it over the site pull that needle out everyone has their different method when you pull it out you can go ahead and hit the button heard it yes so needle is retracted and voila there is no exposed needle and of course this goes into your biohazard bin and you're done with your stick pressure is your friend pressure can alleviate bruising Okay, sometimes it's not the bad stick that causes bruising, it's not applying pressure. Make sure you apply the pressure or have your patient apply the pressure. Clean up your little area, get rid of all of your trash, tourniquets and things of that nature that you don't need. Now the time to spin. So once it's finished spinning, we'll have serum and um, we'll bits it up. Let it do its thing. This one doesn't beep. <laughs> I like the ones that beep. What happens is it unlocks for you. So you know once it's done, it's done. So we did let our blood clot and we spun it and this is what we have. We have clear, beautiful serum. Got that, you see that? Yes. So now just pretend for the sake of pretending that I am in, um, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to label the two. <laughs> I forgot to label the two, okay. So here's our label. You can see everything on this label. You can even see, come on, not me, the label. That all your information is on it. I have pertinent information blocked out, name and all that stuff. But if you look at it closely, right below the barcode, you have the name of the test, et cetera, et cetera, and all that good stuff. So, and I'll do this again. Um, I just got a little ahead of myself, not labeling the two. We're gonna go ahead and label this two. And we are separating this because we want the serum. It's a serum separator tube. We're testing for RPR. Who knows what that stands for? Let me know in the description down below, in the comments down below, RPR. So now that we have our blood, we've spun our blood and we have serum, we wanna pipette it. Normally I would have a much larger pipette. It's like a micro pipette. So we're gonna use it. This is more for capillary blood. You guys have seen that before. If not, comment down below. I can do a capillary for you because last year, oh my gosh, I think it was February last year, I had a wonderful subscriber send me pediatric tubes as well as 
the Lancet and uh, I'm, I've never used them so I want if you want I can do that but to go ahead and do this what you're going to do now is we have our tube already labeled we know who it is we know what we want of course gloves are on the whole nine you want to remove your cap gently you're going to squeeze the top of your pipette you're going to place it down into your tube once you release the pipette the the top of the pipette of course it sucks what we need up in it in this case it's not going to be a lot because it is micro and then you're going to release it into your transfer tubing so this is really really something because it's not the right size but it's giving us something I'm going to show you guys normally with the right size pipette you just have to do this squeeze go in release once you're in the serum and you get all the serum you need so we've got what we need out of that we place this back in the rack we get our little transfer device and I'll show you we only have a little bit in it but that's what you do you cover your transfer device and it's only almost a drop but if you guys look closely you can see that I have transferred some serum inside the little transfer tube and that is how you do that of course with a larger pipette but the small one works nonetheless and you get the idea so once that's done you can take your little tag along label if you have a tag along or another label a reprinted label that's already on your tube just reprint it and put the exact same label on your transfer and that's it so let me know what you think thumbs up share like comment and i will see you guys in the next video if there's anything you want me to do let me know and i'll get it up i'll see y'all later bye